love to eat. And right now I'm in Somerville, a city filled to the brim with different people, cultures, and of course, food. So, let's check out all the local restaurants. My name is Jose. I'm originally from Guatemala and I own Evi Sushi. Um, Evi Sushi has been open for seven years. We opened in 2011. I used to work in this Japanese restaurant in, in Cambridge and I learned how to make sushi and then later I decided to open my own business. Like, I've been really happy with uh, all the clients that we have, the diverse, of friendly people and the city. Somerville was not that popular like what it is right now. In the last three years, it's been really good business. The population is getting more and more people. It's also so expensive. We lose some of the regular customer because they move from Somerville because they can't afford the rent. But we're getting new customers every year. Still, we concern what's gonna happen in the future with us. We might move a new location because the city is gonna take over the whole building. Running a restaurant, you know, it's, it's a lot of work, but at the same time, it, it's good. I, I like what I'm doing, you know. I've been working at Sunbites for about a year and a half now. Sunbites is very unique, I think, because serve homemade food, your drinks, you can get them yourself, so you can get them however you want. And we also have a bar, so even if it's in the morning, you can get mimosas, Bloody Marys, you can pretty much get anything you want. Yes, there's a very energetic boss. I think he's done a pretty good job of running Sunbites for this long, and I think customers really like him. The staff are fabulous. They're just really super friendly and they are okay with me coming and using Wi-Fi and electricity and composing for hours and they're just like, oh, would you like another glass of wine? Let's feed the creative process with booze. I've been living in the Balskirish area since about 2001. It's been a really vibrant community in the 90s and it continues to be so, but it's changed by becoming more of itself. Uh, this is always homemade, the food in here. It's good family, good restaurant. Yesterday, this is good guy. The neighbors are loving. Everything is excellent. And this is what I love my boss. Very good guy. My name is Alberto Cabrera, I'm the chef owner of Casa V Restaurant Union Square, Somerville. I am from Puerto Rico. The restaurant is a Spanish Caribbean Papa style restaurant. When I was a little kid, my grandfather loved to live in Spain and I grew up going to Spain in Madrid from I was five years old. I moved to the US in 1994. My restaurant started when I, as an architect, the economy went down and the recession. So cooking became my survival mode and we decided to open a restaurant. We have been open for six and a half years. Casa B is a family-owned restaurant. We specialize in Spanish Caribbean food. We have an underground restaurant called Casa Ruins in which we pass recipes. Union Square have changed a lot in the last six years and will continue changing for a while. Now under construction after the rezoning, but it's good for business. What I love to do business in Somerville is not only from the administration to the neighborhood, to the people that live here that support local businesses, and I'm glad to be part of this community. My name is Manuel Morales. I'm from El Salvador, part of the owners of Taco Loco. We are three brothers and we cook Mexican. We have some Central American food like pupusas, belongs to El Salvador. One of my brothers, the oldest one, he started Taco Loco probably on the 1992 because he learned to cook Mexican food. Change is more like a students moving to East Somerville. In the past five, six years, the rent is so expensive. That's why, you know, the, the Latino population start moving. We have a different people from everywhere. So we can say Spanish customer probably is like 30% of the rest from different countries. Assembly Row start helping us in that section. 
the food is a little expensive. That's why people start coming to this area because we have a good price and good taste and good quality. So after looking at just a few local restaurants in Somerville, you can see that the restaurants and the people working inside them are all extremely important to the community. And one common trait that all of these restaurants have, even though that they're all very different, is that they all share a very deep and very passionate love for food. And by supporting these restaurants, you're giving back to the community. Now, if you don't mind, it's lunchtime.